Hi YouTube. I wanted to come on and do a video of a few things I just received today. I'm super, super excited about this one. So what I'll do is I will do the, the two things I'm most excited about um, at the end. These were deliveries from Bungu Box, Van Ness Pens, and um, Tokyo Pen Shop. So let me start with Tokyo Pen Shop. I shouldn't say that I'm not excited about Tokyo Pen Shop because I am. I actually, this is sort of my downfall. I tend to every once in a while go on these sites just to see what's new. And then of course there's always interesting new things. So this is, I picked up this Midori uh, clip in the sterling silver. I have a lot of these and then I'm always searching around <laughs> for rulers and such. I, I really like these. They're really slim profile. They're easy to carry around. The one thing that is difficult, um, I'm in the US and I do, I love Midori uh, rulers, but I do find that they are all, um, almost all of them tend to be centimeter millimeters. And so I have to convert them for inches since we use inches here. So that can be a little annoying at times, but whatever. I still really like them. They are just super functional. They're, they're so creative in the way that they um, come up with these products. And actually, can you see that? Just like how they do that. There's a five millimeter one, a seven millimeter one, and then all these little doodles, which I think will be really fun to work with. So I am looking forward to that. Speaking of which, I picked up, you know, I'm slowly amassing all of these Sarasa Grand gel pens, the um, vintage ones. I have all of them in the plastic versions, but I really like, I like these. And so I've been slowly picking them up as they come back in stock. And then I picked up more washi because, you know, I need more washi. I just really liked this one, that old male look. Um, it's actually super thick. I'm, I would need to cut this with a um, with scissors because they're so thick. But it's just beautiful. I love I love washi like that. Okay, I will take that off. Put that back up. It, this one almost has the feel of a vellum fabric of some sort. Is it supposed to come off that way? I don't think so. This is an empty roll. Um, but yeah, it's super thick, almost like a vellum -y material. It's really, it's not just paper. This is an empty roll that is paper. And I just like, this one looks kind of like old ticket stubs. I thought that was really neat. In fact, I think they are perforated. Yes, so cute. And um, this is a small one. This is like a partial one. So let me take that off. And this one, these are so cute. It just reminds me of like little ticket stubs that you get at fairs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay. So there you go, little ticket stubs. It's an empty roll. This one was a coffee one. I am a coffee junkie, so had to get this. Oh, it's super cute. Let me see if I could use the back end of this and just tear it off. Yep. Um, I did not do an awesome job. But there you go. Super, super, super adorable. I love this. And then, you know... I don't know why. These are, I think, the 2000 set. Uh, this is, I, I won't try to read it. Kamoi, I will. Kamoi paper washi adhesive tape. And I think a 2020 box. It's a set of all of these washies. Goodness knows I didn't need any more, but these were just so pretty as a set. And I thought, you know, it'd be really nice just to use them together. And it's the box itself is like this gorgeous textured Japanese paper. So yeah, it's just aesthetically so beautiful. So that is what I picked up at Tokyo Pen Shop. 
super quick shipping as well. I've been just super impressed with everybody shipping. Okay, so that's that. Now let's do Van Ness. I picked up two samples. Ferris Wheel Press Tanzanite Sky. And here is what it looks like. And Ferris Wheel Press Peppermint Drop. I've never used Ferris Wheel Press before. And I just wanted to try them out because that's something I'll show you. This one actually has a beautiful sheen. It actually reminds me a little bit of Walden Pond, but not quite. So what I actually like about these is that they don't sheen as much as a bunch of other ones. I know people love sheen, but I just tend to find that it's kind of unwieldy to have that much sheen. It uh, doesn't dry very well or very quickly, especially on Tomo River. So... You know, I like that it's it's super saturated, but not overly sheening. But it does have shading, which I do like. So I was just trying to look through my Colorverse rings. I have a couple of these to see what color it was most similar to in my collection. And you know, I, I don't I don't know that there's one that's super close. This Robert Oster River of Fire is pretty close. River River of Fire sheens a lot more. You can see how dark it gets here. That's not true with Ferris Wheel Press. But um, it's pretty saturated. There's Robert Oster Velvet Storm. Velvet Storm is definitely a little darker, but I think in terms of its its writing, it's pretty similar. Here is Walden Pond. You can just see the huge difference in the sheening, but the underlying color itself is actually pretty similar. So, anyways, um, seasons. Oh no, this one's very different. I should also have Diamond Mine Skulls here somewhere. Um, Oh, there's peppermint candy, but peppermint candy is sparkly, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, so yeah, that's that. This is really pretty, though. I thought for the holiday season, this would be nice. For Tanzanite Sky, I actually, this has like a super deep navy blue with kind of a touch of purple, but not, like if you look at Bunga Box Ink of Witch, which is like a black purple, there's definitely, it's definitely bluer. Oops. And I'd say maybe it's, you know, we're talking, I mean, I have so many blues. I'm not sure which blue it's closest to, to be quite honest. But, for example, um, actually, Polar Glow. No, I don't think so. It's definitely bluer. Oh, here's Skull and Roses. No, that's bluer. Maybe getting Midnight Sheen. It's getting a little closer, but not as sheeny. Or Midnight Hour, rather. This is Diamine. These are all the holiday series from last year, the Advent Calendar. So yeah, I don't, I don't have very many that are exactly like this. So that's a good thing. So I can try that out as well. Now, the I got a big Ferris wheel press ink. Here we go. The Jelly Bean Blue. I was not even looking for this um, ink, but when I came across it, I thought, you know, I mean, I've certainly heard of Ferris Wheel Press, and I thought, why not give it a try? I will say the packaging is absolutely stunning. This, this outside box, I mean, the motifs, this kind of old world motif with these balloons, hot air balloons, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Almost steampunky in a way. Has a beautiful velvet case. And I will say that the, now oh, it says here, Ferris Wheel Press. I'm sure people have seen this already. Makers of Iconic Stationery. Um, I love that it's like totally globular. It's like this round thing. It's just so... It reminds me of an ornament. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And this nut here, this nut closure is super hefty. Like it's super, it feels like it's really quality made. This is expensive and you know, it feels it. So that's a good thing. And I got it to go with this. Now, I did not intend on getting a new pen. I admittedly did not need a new one. 
This is Twinkle Stardust. I saw this on Bungu Box's Instagram when they were marketing this for the Tokyo Pen Show 2020. I asked them if this was going to be available in their international shop because when I saw it, I think I may have gasped. Um, and at the time, they said it wasn't going to be made available internationally. I guess at the time, the, um, the pen show hadn't happened, and so it was going to be exclusively for the show. And then after the show, the remainders were made available. Um, there's no way, probably, that I can show how beautiful this pen actually is. There's rotten chips in it. This is my first rotten pen. And it is... You know, there, there really aren't enough superlatives to say how, how gorgeous I think this pen is. There's not, there's actually just, the lighting is way too reflective to show how beautiful this is. It's like a midnight navy blue with these reflective rod end pieces in it. And I think the trim is like a light yellowish gold. Of course, I think this is a 21 karat nib with a beautiful, can I show that? If that shows up well. with a twinkle on the nib. I got a medium fine. I think I wanted a medium, but that was sold out when I checked on the site. I was refreshing the site constantly to get it, um, when, it when it was made available. It comes with two cartridges and it came with a mini converter, which I put in here with the Jelly Bean ink. So let me quickly test it. So the Jelly Bean ink, this is and actually, you know, I couldn't find one that was exactly like it, which is a really good thing, because it would have been kind of, I guess, frustrating if I had an ink just like it. But um, here's the Monte Verde Malibu Blue. This is what they gave us at the SF Pen Show last year, 2019. The Nitrogen. Nitrogen is way sheenier, but actually the coloration of the blue itself is actually pretty similar. Um... I think those are the most most similar but but I will write it out and see what it looks like it is just a beautifully dark saturated blue navy blue but not as navy blue as that tanzanite sky which you know the tanzanite sky might be more appropriate for this pen but this is just such a beautiful beautiful this is the bunga box oh god Bungu box. Twilight. What is it called again? Twilight Stardust. Stardust. The medium fine. This is the Ferris wheel. Press. Jelly, and I just love the names, <laughs> names of these, Jelly Bean Blue. Yeah, it's definitely a navier blue. It has a bit of shading, but not super sheeny, so hopefully that means it dries quicker. I'm not sure. I haven't tested this ink out and really run it through its paces, but I definitely will. So it's really beautiful. I think it's a good match for this pen. Oops, I like my inks matching my pens. So this is, she's a beauty. So super, super thrilled with these. Um, yeah, it's my little haul. Thank you very much. Bye.